the night. Samira Ahmed, BBC News, at New Scotland Yard. The Department of Trade and Industry has agreed to pay £55,000 in libel damages and costs to a journalist after it accused him of making up evidence about the sale of torture instruments by British firms. The DTI accepted that the allegations about the producer of the Channel 4 documentary Dispatches were untrue. Man bites dog. The journalist who single-handedly sued the government for libel on his way to the High Court this morning to collect £40,000 in damages and £15,000 costs. In a program he made earlier this year, the journalist Martin Gregory posed as an agent for a Middle Eastern arms buyer. During the program, representatives of three British companies, including the Royal Ordnance Division of British Aerospace, said they were prepared to supply electric shock equipment to countries where it was liable to be used for torture. The then President of the Board of Trade, Michael Heseltine, wrote letters to MPs about the program in which he described Mr Gregory's allegations as contrived and scaremongering. In court, the Department of Trade and Industry accepted that there was no justification whatever for accusing Mr Gregory of scaremongering or otherwise casting doubt on his integrity. The department accepted that the serious allegations it had made against him were untrue and it unreservedly withdrew them. Mr Heseltine's former department said it sincerely apologised to Mr Gregory for the distress and embarrassment caused to him. Afterwards, Martin Gregory said he was delighted with the outcome. We stand by everything in the programme and the important thing is that if the government or anybody else had been able to find a chink, a, a chink in our armour, they undoubtedly would have done and they undoubtedly would not have settled. We expose an extremely important, unknown part of British business, and that is the British torture trade. And I think that the government, rather than criticising me and the people that made the programme, should have started investigating the torture trade. Mr Gregory said he hoped the government would now investigate his allegations instead of threatening to prosecute him for making them. Joshua Rosenberg, BBC News, at the High Court. Southwest Water has lost an appeal to the Monopolies and Mergers Commission to be allowed to put its prices up.